Best of 3B1 is a, is a unique subset um, that is actually the best mutation to have. So it's the only mutation um, that has been shown to be associated with improved overall survival, lower risk of progression to AML. And it really has a very strong genotype phenotype correlation, meaning that the vast majority of these patients um, are our MDS patients with ring sideroblasts. So really uh, the allele frequency, the burden of sf 3 d one directly correlates. So it's both a um, phenotypically uh, relatively homogeneous disease, as well as from a survival perspective, uh, a, a homogeneous disease with improved overall survival. These patients typically have issues predominantly with transfusion dependent anemia and not as much issues with uh, severe neutropenia uh, or thrombocytopenia. So it's, it's a very well-defined, and so it's changed our diagnostic criteria um, in, in 2016. You know, now where previously you had to have 15% ring sideroblast to meet this qualification. If you have an SF3B1 mutation, then you only needed to have 5% or more. And then therapeutically, it's becoming relevant. Of course, we have the recent uh, FDA approval just in April of Luspatercept, which is an erythroid maturation agent. Um, that the phase three trial was specifically for patients with ring sideroblast. And so although the trial did not um, include or exclude based on SF31, that is largely the patient group that was targeted. Um, and so it, it's important because really, you know, again, if you have this mutation with over 5% ring sideroblast, you're really the same disease entity. And now we have actually a drug that is, uh, you know, focused on, um, you know, that, that subset of, of patients. So I, I think it's really just to put a sort of a comprehensive um, really review on uh, this MDS subclassification on being a unique entity. Um, I think there's still, you know, more work to be done. You know, if SF3B1 is with higher risk mutations, it, 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 it tends to sort of lose its benefit. Um, and so I think there are some, you know, when we look at co-mutations and things like that, probably still some, some more work to be done. Um, so these mutations are also very common. And so although h 3 b 8800 which was really largely negative trial as far as uh, efficacy, I think there are other um, targets um, that can maybe modulate the spliceosome or spliceosome machinery that may be uh, nice targets uh, to look at in the future.